children now it is time to do physics lab experiment this experiment belongs to 10th standard and the chapter name is electricity the aim of this experiment is to find out the resultant of two resistors when connected in series the materials that are required two resistors an ammeter a voltmeter rheostat source of constant current plucky and copper connecting wires the theory of this experiment is resistance the property of a conductor to oppose the flow of charges through it is called resistance r is equal to potential difference v by current i si unit of resistance is ohm resistance depend on the length of conductor long resistors possess larger resistance and short resistors possess smaller resistance therefore r is directly proportional to l resistance depend on the area of cross section thick resistors possess smaller resistance and thin resistors possess larger resistance therefore r is directly proportional to 1 by a r is directly proportional to l by a the resultant resistance when two resistors of resistance r1 and r2 connected in series r is equal to r1 plus r2 for series combination the mean resistance of resistors r1 and r2 is equal to the sum of total of all the individual resistances of resistors r1 and r2 let us see circuit now it is time to see processor connect the circuit with one resistor and determine its resistance let it be r1 replace this resistor with another resistor and determine its resistance let it be r2 in the combination of resistors in series find the resultant resistance let it be r let us see observation when the first resistor connected in series the ammeter reading is 0.3 ampere and voltmeter reading is 1.2 volts so corresponding resistance is 4 ohm in trial 2 the ammeter reading is 0.29 ampere voltmeter reading is 1.18 volts so corresponding resistance is 4.06 ohm therefore the mean resistance of first resistor is 4.03 ohm when the second resistor connected in series the ammeter reading is 0.6 ampere voltmeter reading is 0.9 volts and corresponding resistance is 1.5 ohm in trial 2 the ammeter reading is 0.65 ampere voltmeter reading is 0.8 volts and corresponding resistance is 1.23 ohm therefore the mean resistance of second resistor is 1.36 ohms when these two resistor are connected in series combination in circuit the ammeter reading is 0.35 ampere voltmeter reading is 1.9 volts and corresponding resistance is 5.42 ohm in trial 2 the ammeter reading is 0.36 ampere voltmeter reading is 1.88 volts and corresponding resistance is 5.22 ohm 
therefore the main resistance of series combination is 5.32 ohm and the result is compare the observed values of the equivalent resistance of the series combination of the two given resistors from the table with the calculated values of a using formula r is equal to r1 plus r2 calculation resultant resistance of two resistors in series R dash is equal to 5.32 ohm by experiment. R is equal to R1 plus R2 is equal to 5.39 ohm by calculation. The observed value by experiment and calculated value both are approximately same. To do this experiment we have to maintain some precautions. The connections should be neat and clean. The connections should be tight. Wires of small length should be used to make connections. Null points should be brought between 40 cm and 60 cm. Join the positive of the devices with the positive terminals of the battery. Based on this experiment, I will ask few questions my dear children. The first question is, if the resistors are connected in series in a circuit, what remains constant? Anyone would like to answer for this question? The answer is current. And the second question is, what is the potential difference when resistors are connected in series? Anyone else? The answer is the potential difference V for the series of resistors in a circuit will be the sum of all the potential differences. V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus so on. And the third question is, how will you connect the three resistors given to you so that the resultant resistance is increased? And the answer is, the resistors should be connected in series to get the resultant resistance maximum. 